hi everyone so in this recording we will see how to solve a bayesian game so this question was asked in the midterm examination at d school in 2023 so there are mainly four equilibrium concepts if you remember so let me give you a quick revision so it all depends on the timing also there are mainly two games one is related to information right whether it is a complete information game or incomplete information game and it also depends on the timing whether it is a simultaneous game or sequential game right so if i talk about information if it is complete information complete and if it is incomplete okay also if i talk about timings then it can be simultaneous move game simultaneous means both player are moving simultaneously i mean one just after another without seeing the other player's strategy and it is sequential so if we are given complete information game and if we have simultaneous move game then we use nash equilibrium concept right if it is sequential with complete information then we use sub game perfect nash equilibrium spne or spe whatever you want to call it if we have incomplete information game then we use bayesian games okay the one which we are going to solve right now so here the only difference is there are no doubt there are two players but there is also a type either for player one or for player two or for both player okay as the type increases for the players the game become complex and if we have belief also along with the types then we use something called perfect bayesian game okay so this is a quick recap now let's move to the game which we were given in the midterm examination so consider the following game of incomplete information right incomplete information so we got a hint that we need to find either this bayesian game or perfect bayesian although in the question it has already described that we need to find bayesian game only but still in case if we were not given the information what we need to find then it is a hint so there is an uncertainty about the player one type right so player two has only one type which is x or y but player two can have left or right i mean x and y is its strategy not the type okay okay with the probability theta player one can play left and with one minus theta he can play right player two has only one type and below are the payoff describe the game as a bayesian game explicitly mention the action action sets and strategy sets of both the player so let's see so let me write let me change the color okay now the first thing which it asked was strategy set so how do we write a strategy set so for player one because he can be at anywhere he can be here or he can be here so this means x x this is from left this is from right he can be here or he can be here likewise right all right now for player two the strategy are simple x and y only x only y now if i talk about action sets then player one has only one x y even player two also x y okay now what was asked uh, describe the game as a bayesian game we have mentioned the actions action action sets and strategy sets now it's time for the bayesian game how do we describe it okay so it will be described uh, let me define the type also so the type for player one is either it's left 
I can write complete left or L R whatever way you want to write and if I represent it in a Bayesian game so generally we denote it by this symbol let me this we have a strategy set for player one strategy set for player two action set for player one action set for player two type of player one then we have theta and one minus theta it's that simple we are done with the party three marks confirmed now we have to find the bayesian nash equilibrium so it is very simple again let me show you the solution what it will be so uh, one thing uh, let me make a space here okay what i should be doing is here page then add space hmm. no it is not happening let's solve here itself so one thing for sure we know that player two can't distinguish whether the player one is in the left or in the right but with the probability theta he can know that he is in left and with one minus theta he is in right so but player one knows his type but can you observe whenever player one is of left type he will never play y see here he is getting minus two here one one two so for player one will never play this y whenever he is left type similarly if he is of right type he will never play x right so now the game has become simpler so this is what x y x when he is of left type so the payoff were one minus two and the play uh, payoff was two zero right one minus two two zero and when he was of right type then the payoff was this what it was two zero one comma two he is playing y only now what what player two will do because player two knows that playing y every time is giving him higher payoff here minus two zero better zero two better hence player two will always choose y therefore the bayesian nash equilibrium for this game will be what x when he is of left type he will play x when he is of right type he will play y and uh, player two will always choose y right uh, no this okay whenever theta belongs to zero to one right that's all it was so simple game